present to you Cindy Oxberry. Good evening. Welcome to the Opera Institute recital program here on the Millennium Stage. My name is Cindy Oxbury. I'm the faculty director and stage director for Opera Institute. And I will co-host the program this evening with our head coach of the program, Dr. Patrick O'Donnell. To find out more about the wonderful training for youth programs at the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts, please go to the website www.kennedy-center.org. We will open with a scene from Verdi's Nabucco, a classic Verdi opera, gorgeous vocal lines, lush harmonies. This is a prayer by the enslaved Israelites to their God, asking him to spread his golden wings and take them to a higher place. Here now is Va Pensiero.
Our second scene comes from Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutte. You will meet two couples, Fiordaligi and Guillermo, and then Dorabello and Ferrando. You meet the gentleman's friend, Don Alfonso. Now the ladies have been deceived by their sweethearts. The men, pretending to be away, have returned and are dressed in disguise as Albanians and switched girlfriends. Here they are pretending to be poisoned and hope the ladies will help them recover. A doctor arrives who looks a lot like Despina, the lady's maid. Let's see if the men recover. Will the Gina present is Fiordaligi and is from Miami, Florida. Raina Moore as Dorabella is from District Heights, Maryland. Matthew Malcolm as Ferrando is from Overland Park, Kansas. Charles Wolfer as Guillermo is from Fairfax, Virginia. Shayna Singer as Despina is from Delray Beach, Florida. And Rennell Warmoth is Don Alfonso from Strongville, Ohio. Here now is the sextet from Cosi Fan Tutte. The Opera Institute curriculum provides the training components essential for well-educated ed singers with a focus on Italian art song literature as well as opera scenes. Our first art song performer is Jacqueline Cascal from Boca Raton, Florida. Yeah. 
Our second scene is from Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro. Susanna and Figaro are to be married and they are living in their new quarters. They're measuring furniture. Well, Figaro is. Susanna has her mind on other things. I think you might witness their first quarrel. Abigail Cunningham as Susanna is from Lexington, Kentucky. Thomas Lynch as Figaro is from Arlington, Virginia. Here now is the duet Cinque Dieci. Susanna, my beloved, what a wonderful 
Our fourth scene is also from Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro. Marcellina, the housekeeper, intends on marrying Figaro herself because he owes her money and the marriage will be the I.O.U. Now Susanna runs into Marcellina in her mistress's chambers as she was cleaning. I think there might be some words exchanged here. Maya Watson as Susanna is from White Plains, New York. Elizabeth Hanji as Marcellina is from Vestavia Hills, Alabama. Here now is the duet Vi Arresti Servita. Our next art song performer is Kayvon Thompson from Lorton, Virginia.
Our next scene also comes from the marriage of Figaro. You will meet the Count and Countess Almaviva. He has flown into a jealous rage when he was locked out of his wife's chambers. When the door is unlocked, she swears by her innocence. He hears a noise in her closet. She says it's Susanna. He doesn't believe her and thus demands that she come out. Where is Susanna really? Catherine Anderson as Susanna is from Lafayette, Louisiana. Meliana Cabalas as the Countess is from Goose Creek, South Carolina. Sean Polk as the Count is from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Here now is the trio from The Marriage of Figaro. Please consider my 
Our next scene also comes from the marriage of Figaro. We are now in act three and meet the Count Almaviva in his library. He is angry and frustrated because everyone is lying to him lately. Suddenly, Susanna is at the door and enters to retrieve the Countess's smelling salts. Will Susanna lie to him as well? Gabrielle Gans as Susanna is from Binghamton, New York. Jaded Brown as the Count is from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Here now is the duet, Crudel Perche Finora. It is my duty, and what your lordship wishes, But why, why make me suffer longing for your reply? But why, but why will you not tell me why?
Our next art song singer is Elizabeth Hanje, who returns to the stage. Our next opera scene is a quintet from Mozart's The Magic Flute. You will meet Papageno, who is a bird catcher, Tamino, an Egyptian prince, and the three ladies who work for the Queen of the Night, a powerful woman in a magical kingdom. At this point, Papageno has told a lie, and his mouth was locked up by the Queen. Let's find out if he gets to speak again. Lauren Fleming, First Lady, is from Traverse City, Michigan. Catherine Grieve, Second Lady, is from Lake Forest, Illinois. Kelly Garcia, Third Lady, is from Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. David Titus Tamino is from Ammon, Idaho. And Charles Wolfer Papageno returns to the stage once again. Here now is the mm, mm, mm quintet. Alas in vain. The queen who gives you pain. 
Our next art song performer is Molly Snodgrass from Austin, Texas.
Our next opera scene is a duet from The Merry Widow, an operetta by Franz Lehar, set in Paris. Camille de Rossillon is a single man of noble birth, invited to a beautiful ball hosted by Baron Zetta. The Baron has a beautiful wife named Natalie. Camille is so deeply attracted to Natalie that they dash away to an empty room and, well, Natalie attempts to resist his amorous intentions. Phoenix Miranda, Natalie is from Simsbury, Connecticut, and Christopher Ellers, Camille, is from Las Lunas, New Mexico. Here now is the duet, I Am a Dutiful Wife.
Our next art song performer is Preston Jones from Fort Washington, Maryland. The next scene comes from an American opera, The Ballad of Baby Doe, based on figures from American history. Horace Tabor, a silver king in Colorado, is married to Augusta. There has been a rumor that Horace has been seen in town recently with a divorced young woman named Baby Doe. So the four friends of Augusta have decided that when they come to the weekly social tea, they are going to speak plainly to Augusta about this scandal. Augusta Tabor is Skylar Lair Bryant from Pasadena, California. First friend is Hilary Dunkley from Silver Spring, Maryland. Second friend, Sophia Mazzullo from East Rutherford, New Jersey. Third friend, Alba Clark from Farmington, Connecticut. And fourth friend, Sn Molly Snodgrass returns to the stage again. Here now is the quintet from The Ballad of Baby Doe. at all. 
Our next art song performer is Wilgina Present, who returns to the stage. Thank you. 
Our final art song performer is Madison Perry from Dumfries, Virginia.
We conclude our program this evening with a beautiful scene from Aaron Copeland's The Tenderland. I would like to introduce our conductor, Dan Abraham. He's a member of our faculty and, Ameri and also a member of the faculty at American University. It is an American opera written about a Midwestern family during the Depression era of the 20th century. The Moss family, Grandpa, Ma, and Lori are down-home folks. Martin and Top are field hands that Grandpa hired to help bring in the harvest. Originally conceived as a quintet, Maestro Abraham and I discussed the idea of turning into a chorus, and it is spectacular. Sophia Mazzullo returns to the stage as Lori, Skylar Layer Bryant returns to the stage as Ma Moss, Christopher Ellers returns to the stage as Martin, Preston Jones returns to the stage as Top, and Rennell Warmoth returns to the stage as Grandpa Moss. Here now is our finale.
Thank you for joining us on the Millennium Stage. In preparation for another show, please move to